Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about Marilyn Monroe and her beauty routine as well as her favorite beauty products that are still available today. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Marilyn Monroe's favorite beauty products. So about a year ago or maybe a year and a half ago, I did a video featuring Marilyn Monroe's favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And I have since found out a lot more about Marilyn Monroe and have done more research and have collected more beauty products. So this is an add-on to that video with more extensive research, so I hope you will enjoy this one. So to start out, we're going to go into Marilyn Monroe's skincare routine. So Marilyn Monroe used Erno Laszlo and most of the products that she used are still available today. And the first product that she used was the Erno Laszlo Cleansing Face Bar. And this one is still available and it's really good for oily skin and is a really nice cleansing bar. And then she also used the Feta Till Pre-Cleansing Oil, which is still available today. And then she also used the Erno Lazo Light Controlling Lotion, which is another product that's still available today. And this is a really good toner for mattifying your skin and getting rid of excess oil. And a new product that was reintroduced for the Makeup Museum is Erno Lazo Normalizer Shake It. And this is a limited edition tinted toner and treatment. And this one was made especially for Marilyn Monroe and you can buy it today. And it's really good for underneath your makeup and it kind of mattifies and tones your skin. I really like it and it works well to kind of make your skin less shiny, especially if you're wearing makeup. And then for face creams, when it comes to Erno Laszlo, Marilyn wrote, used two face creams. She used the Formula 3 and 9, as well as the Felatil Night Cream. And these are both very moisturizing face creams. And if you look at different crime scene photos, there are pictures of Erno Laszlo face creams next to her bed. As well as at the Max Factor Museum, you will see all of Marilyn Monroe's beauty products and featured there are all the Erno Laszlo products that she used. Marilyn Monroe also used Vaseline and she used Vaseline under her makeup as a primer and she used it on her eyelids and cheeks bones as a way to enhance her features and kind of contour and give it a little bit of light reflection. And Vaseline has been around for a very long time. It's a very old brand and it's kind of a go-to. It works really well. It's actually a really incredible as a primer underneath your makeup and it just makes the foundation go on really smooth and nicely. So I can see why she liked it. Marilyn Monroe also loved Nivea cream, which has become a new favorite for me as well. And Nivea cream is over 100 years old and it's an incredible moisturizer and apparently it's a dupe to La Mer. I think the German version is supposed to be a little bit better. And I'm obsessed with Nivea cream. I use it every night on my face. I even use it on my hands, feet, and elbows. So if you have dry skin, I would highly recommend Nivea cream. It works really well. I put it on every night before bed and I can see why Marilyn Monroe loved it. And it's such a classic. It's been around for over a hundred years so I can see why it stood the test of time. And now let's get into some other beauty products that she used that you can still buy today. Another random one is her earplugs. So I have some old photos of Marilyn Monroe's estate at auction and as you can see in one of the photos there's a vintage box of Flunt's earplugs and you can still buy these earplugs today. So I bought a little package on Amazon and these earplugs are actually pretty good. They've become my go-to earplugs and Marilyn Monroe used these on a regular basis. And when it comes to perfume, it's very well known that Marilyn Monroe wore Chanel number no. 5. There's vintage photos of her using Chanel number no. 5 and she even said she put it in her bathtub. So this is kind of the perfume that she's known for. But she also used the perfume Floris London and this brand has been around for a few hundred years. It's very old and she loved the rose geranium scent and she also loved the bath essence as well. So that is another perfume that's more obscure that a lot of people don't know that Marilyn Monroe used. So it's kind of the other more obscure perfume. And then when it comes to makeup, Marilyn Monroe had an extensive makeup collection. So I'm gonna go in and share some of the foundations that she used. One of the foundations that she used was Anita of Daymark Day Do Makeup Cream. And this one you can still buy today. And this one is a very thick foundation. It's almost like a concealer in my opinion. It goes on quite thick but you can blend it nicely. It's more of a heavy stage makeup, 
I prefer it more as a concealer versus an overall foundation just because I find it kind of heavy and sticky. And Marilyn Monroe also loved Elizabeth Arden and there are some old photos of some Elizabeth Arden pat -a cream foundation and I found some that you can still buy today and it comes with the little sponge applicator inside and it's kind of a retro compact and it's a really good foundation. I like putting it on with the sponge and it has very good coverage. And she also was a huge fan of Max Factor and she loved the Max Factor Pan Stick Foundation and if you look at old photos of her estate you can see that she used Max Factor Pan Stick and you can still buy it today. Again it kind of reminds me of the Anita of Denmark foundation because it's a bit heavier, it has really good coverage, but to me it's more of a concealer. I prefer the liquid foundations to be honest, but you can still get Max Factor Pan Stick. I think it's still available on Amazon. And I do like the kind of twist up tube and I think it's good to stick in your purse too if you want to touch yourself up on the go. And for powders, Marilyn Monroe used the Max Factor Cream Puff Press Powder and you can still buy this powder today. It came out in 1953. And it's a really good face powder. It's kind of classic. It has quite nice coverage and works really well over foundation. So I like to use her Day Dew foundation almost as like a concealer. And then I powder my face with the Max Factor Cream Puff on top. And I even found a vintage Max Factor Cream Puff from the 1950s. And this one's really nice because it has that retro look on the front with the little diamonds. And I can just imagine a Marilyn Monroe using this one. And Marilyn Monroe also used the Max Factor Erase Concealer, and this concealer is really good for covering up blemishes and little spots. I think in the past it had some sort of medicated formula in it to actually help diminish pimples. I don't know if it still does, but I really like the little stick. It almost reminds me of a lipstick, but it's a concealer. When it comes to mascara, Marilyn Monroe had two different Max Factor ones that she used. Earlier she used the Max Factor Cake Mascara and I have one from the 1950s that comes with the brush and it's kind of a classic Max Factor in the white container. And then also I saw in her Vintage Estate at auction that she had the Max Factor Brush Tip Mascara Wand in the gold container and I found a Vintage Deadstock wand on eBay that hasn't even been opened. And for lipsticks, Marilyn Monroe used five different shades of red lipstick to achieve her look. So I have a few lipsticks here. One of them is a Max Factor one, and this one is called Marilyn Red, and it's a very classic red that kind of looks like an iconic 1950s red that Marilyn Monroe would wear. And then I also noticed that Marilyn Monroe had some Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. And then I have one that's called Scarlet 03, and this is a really nice, 1950s red as well. And there's Vintage Doll Cosmetics red lipstick and this one is again another classic 1950s red and it's inspired by Marilyn Monroe and it's called Marilyn. So these are all really good choices if you want a Marilyn Monroe inspired lipstick. And then I even found this really pretty gold Max Factor lipstick and it's a nice red color and it kind of has the push-up handle and it's vintage. I think it's even from I don't know, it could be the 50s or 60s, and it's called Max Factor High Society Clear Clear Red. And it just reminded me of Marilyn Monroe. And I really love the gold case that it comes in. It definitely reminds me of vintage old Hollywood. So these are all of Marilyn Monroe's favorite beauty products. I've been collecting them over the years. I'm constantly finding new things and collecting vintage dead stock because I always like to add it to my makeup collection. So let me know if you've tried any of these products and if so, which ones are your favorites? I use the Erno Laszlo routine on a regular basis and I also love Nivea, it's one of my favorites. And the Flores London perfume is incredible, I highly recommend it. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it and has a really nice fresh scent to it. Even the Queen loves Floris London and it has a royal warrant on it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!